I'm Felix. Here's what happened at this week's City Council meeting. After public comment, the Council heard an update from the Veterans Commission recapping its activities in 2023 and looking ahead to next year. Council then moved on to the consent agenda, approving four of the five items unanimously. Council removed one item for further discussion. A resolution conveying property near 88th Avenue and Telluride Street in the 2nd Creek Farm neighborhood as a potential school site for School District 27J. After discussion, Council voted down the resolution by a vote of 5 to 4. Council then recessed to the Urban Renewal Authority meeting for a presentation and executive session to discuss matters related to the Mile High Greyhound Park redevelopment. Returning to the City Council meeting for ordinances on first reading, the Council voted 7 to 2 to approve a ban on the sale of cats and dogs from pet stores in the city. The next ordinance added a new section to the Minnesota Code regulating metro districts in the city, which passed unanimously after discussion. Another ordinance approving the renewal of the franchise agreement between Commerce City and Comcast was approved 6-3, while a fourth and final ordinance approving the 2020 traffic code as revised passed 9-0. Administrative council business followed, with a resolution for the city to fund a park bench in memory of Kara Kincaid, a Commerce City resident who was killed by a hit-and-run driver this past spring. The motion was approved unanimously and the bench will be installed at Yoquitas Centennial Park behind Monaco Elementary. Following executive sessions discussing the city's mineral rights and the performance evaluation of the city manager, council returned to vote on a resolution increasing the city manager's salary, which was approved 8-0 with one absence. For more information on what happened at this week's council meeting, we're online at the address on your screen. You can also watch the meeting in its entirety at c3gov.com video. Thanks for watching.